Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to compare the Nest Wi-Fi to the Eero 6. So if you guys are wondering, hey, which one is worth getting? You know, what are the differences? What are some of the speed tests that you get with them? Uh, stick around to the end to find out. I go over a whole bunch of stuff and I go over a whole bunch of different configurations. And I have the other parts of the routers and stuff as well. So I'll cover all of that. Okay, so starting off with the Eero 6. The Eero 6 is made by Amazon. Uh, Amazon owns Eero, I should say. This is a wireless AX router. It, th these are both mesh Wi-Fi routers I should say as well. But this is a wireless AX router and this is a wireless AC router. So wireless AX is the latest in Wi-Fi standards. Uh, wireless AC is the previous generation of wireless standards. So you know you're getting the newest tech with this. This one is one generation old basically. Um, you know this is designed to cover up to 1500 square foot of coverage or 139 square meters. This one is uh, designed to cover up to 2200 square feet with 204 square meters. They are both dual band mesh Wi-Fi routers. So dual band meaning they both support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And they both only have one SSID. Uh, well, you could have a guest SSID too, but that's you know, besides the point. Um, you basically have one SSID and when your device connects the router determines you know which band to connect to to either the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz it does that automatically you don't have to worry about that they both have two ethernet ports so with the Eero 6 you get auto sensing ports so you could either use this one to hook up to your modem or this one to hook up to the modem the router will automatically figure that out the Nest Wi-Fi however also has two uh, Ethernet ports, but they're dedicated, meaning the one with the globe sign, that's the one you have to hook up to the modem. And then this is the one that if you wanted to, you know, connect it to a switch to expand your network or connect to another Google Nest Wi-Fi router, uh, that's the port you would use. Wow. So essentially dedicated ports versus auto sensing ports. So obviously auto sensing is better, but I mean, it's not like this is difficult, especially for a one-time setup very simple um, this one also has the Zigbee smart home hub built in and the Zigbee smart home hub is some smart home devices like some lights and stuff require a Zigbee smart home hub uh, for them to work so this one has it built in this does not now there are a whole bunch of smart home devices that don't require a hub but some do and it's worth mentioning so the price of this, the retail price is $129 in the US and the retail price of this is $169 in the US. And you know, this came out recently, this one came out about a year ago. So I did a whole bunch of speed tests, but it's important to understand, and I should also mention that this is an AX1800 speed rating and this is an AC2200 speed rating. And typically the higher the number the better it is typically not necessarily but usually that's the case um, that's basically they determine that number by adding your max speed of your 2.4 gigahertz band and the max speed your 5 gigahertz band supports that's how you get those numbers okay so in all my router videos and I have a Nest Wi-Fi video where I go into super detail on how to connect these and I I go into it in great, great detail, and I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But you basically have four options with the mesh Wi-Fi's. Now, whatever I say, um, the Eero 6 is going to connect to its Eero 6 counterparts. The Nest Wi-Fi is going to connect to its uh, Nest Wi-Fi counterparts. So these don't connect to each other. Um, so when I'm saying something, I don't mean you connect this to this. Uh, it doesn't work that way. So option one is basically when you have a router by itself. Uh, so just because this is a mesh Wi-Fi router and what mesh Wi-Fi means is like that's when you can actually like have multiple routers or multiple uh, router and access point or whatever and they combine connect to each other to expand your wireless coverage. Um, it could expand your Ethernet coverage as well too but that's basically the whole concept of mesh Wi-Fi to make a seamless thing. So basically, if you get multiple, you know, Nest Wi-Fi routers, you connect them and they expand your network. So when you're going 
you know, throughout your house, you don't have to like switch your network to this one. Like all of that's automatic. You connect to one SSID. When you're walking around, uh, it automatically detects like, hey, you're closer to this one. It automatically connects to this one. That's basically mesh Wi-Fi. Uh, same is true for the Eero 6, works exactly the same way. Okay, so just because it's a, a just because it is a mesh Wi-Fi doesn't actually mean you actually need more than one. You could just just get one uh, and use one. So you know, in that case, if you have the Nest Wi-Fi, you basically hook up you know the globe to the modem, and then you hook up you know this to a switch, or you could hook up this port to your computer, or you don't have to use this port at all. It doesn't really matter. Um, and when I did a speed test with this, I used the iPhone 12 Pro, which is a wireless AX device, and it's obviously backwards compatible with the wireless AC. But when I did a speed test, my internet speed is 400 megabits per second down and 20 megabits per second up. I typically get faster speeds than that, but just worth noting that obviously if your internet's slower, you're going to get slower speeds. If your internet's faster, you're going to get faster speeds. That Those are the speeds that my ISP rates and those are the speeds that I'm going to get. So when I take my iPhone 12 and I get close to the shrouder and I do a speed test, I get 475 down and 21 up. And all the numbers I say are in megabits per second, not to be confused by megabytes per second. Uh, so they're in megabits per second. So then when I take my phone and I get close to the Eero 6 and I do a speed test, I get 482 down and 22 up. And when I'm saying I get close to this and the other one, obviously, you know, I test everything with the Nest Wi-Fi and then I take down the Nest Wi-Fi and then I put up the Eero 6 as my wireless network and then I test it with that. So they are not, the Nest Wi-Fi and the Eero 6 are not at the same time. So, yeah. So, but basically very similar speeds. Now, when it gets to option number two, you have a router, an Eero 6 router, and then you have an Eero 6 extender. Now, what does the extender do? Extender extends your Wi-Fi network. So, this one, if you notice, doesn't have any Ethernet ports, uh, and that's because it doesn't need any. Essentially, you just go somewhere in your house, maybe like, you know, a room or two rooms away, you hook this up. It detects that this guy's here inside the Eero app, and it basically wirelessly connects to this and expands your network. Again, you don't have to connect to a different SSID and say, oh, I'm closer to this room, uh, you know, I want to connect to this. You don't have to do any of that. All of that's automatic. Anyways, so when I get close to this and I do a speed test, I got 190 down and 21 up. Now, in all the speed tests, in all the configurations, if I get close to the main one, I'm all, always going to get that around 480 down and 20 up, basically. Now, I do the same exact thing with the Nest Wi-Fi, where I have a Nest Wi-Fi router with a Nest Wi-Fi point. This is a Nest Wi-Fi point, so obviously it's a little bit smaller, doesn't have any Ethernet ports and stuff. Also, it has the Google Home Assistant built in, uh, just, just a heads up. So you can listen to music, you can ask for stuff, it does all that, it even lights up from the bottom, it's actually pretty cool. Um, granted, I don't use it, but it, it's cool. Uh, so when you hook up, you know, these to each other, so this one hooks up to your modem and then this one, you know, in a room or two away, wirelessly connects to this. When I come and do, I do a speed test, uh, close to this, because if I went to the main router, I'm going to get that 480 down, 20 up, basically. When I come close to this, I got 191 down and 20 up. So very similar to the Euro 6. And option number three is when you have two routers hooked up via Ethernet to each other. So you have your main router hooked up to your modem and then from this port you pretty much come to the globe of the second router and these are connected via Ethernet which is called Ethernet Backhaul and so if you pretty much are close to this one you're gonna get the fastest possible speeds and if you're close to this one you're gonna get the fastest possible speeds. So when I come with my phone and I hook up to the secondary router which is acting as an access point and I do a speed test I got 472 down and 22 up. Again, very similar speeds. And the same thing with the Eero 6, where you have two Eero 6 routers. You hook up one to your modem, and then through Ethernet, you go from one router to the next. I come close to the second one, uh, and then I do a speed test, and I got 481 down, 23 up. So again, very similar speeds. 
But option number four is when you have the two routers, but they are not hooked up to each other via ethernet. They're wirelessly connected to each other. So very similar to option number two, um, but you're using routers instead of an extender. But your second router is actually acting as an extender. Uh, so you just go to a room or two away, hook up the power to this, and then it wirelessly connects to this. And then when I come and do a speed test on this second one, that's acting as an extender, I got 192 down and 19 up. And for the best Wi-Fi, where you do the same exact thing, you get two routers and then, you know, one up to your, to your modem and then the other one is wirelessly connected. When I come to this guy and I do a speed test, I got 195 down and 19 up. So, so far, everything's been very similar to each other between the routers. So now I'm doing a range test. So essentially, I go 20 feet away uh, from an Ethernet connected router and I basically did a speed test with this, uh, with the iPhone 12, uh, 20 feet away or 6.1 meters away, and I got 410 down, 20 up. I did the same exact test with this, I got 430 down, 19 up. So very similar speeds. This one was a little bit faster, obviously, uh, but very similar to each other. Then I went further, I went 50 feet, around 50 feet, or 15.2 meters away, um, and I did a speed test, I got 150 down and 16 up with the Eero 6. And then I got 165 down and 17 up with this. And when you go a little more farther away, it pretty much like maybe another 10, 15 feet, it just kind of loses its connection. So you're getting to the edge of the connection for both of these. What are the similarities? What are the differences? Well. Speeds wise, from what I could tell, from what I've tested, they're pretty much the same. Capability wise, one thing that the Eero has that the, well two things that the Eero has that the Nest Wi-Fi does not is the Eero 6 has a Zigbee Smart Home Hub. Again, if you have some Smart Home devices require it. And the cool thing is on the Eero app that the Nest Wi-Fi app does not have, is on the Eero app, it actually shows you which router or extender your device is connected to. So, you know, if I'm walking around the house and it automatically switches to this one, if I go to the Eero app, I can actually see that, yes, I am connected to this. Where the Nest Wi-Fi, you don't know that, but I mean, because these routers or points are far enough from each other, when you go to another room, your bars get low a little bit and then they go back up to full because now you're closer to the other one. So it's pretty obvious that you're connected to this one, especially if you do speed tests. So I I know which one I'm connected to without going inside the app, but it's pretty cool that the app tells you which one is really worth getting and why. Um, well, let's talk about reliability. I've had this for a few days. It's been fine. No complaints. Other than the setup, I did have to restart it like twice, I think, uh, for this to work. But I mean, after initial setup, it was fine. The Nest Wi-Fi I've had for about a year. This thing's been rock solid. It's It's been really, really good. And, you know, automatic updates. It's I haven't really had any downtime maybe once in the entire year. But it's pretty much very consistent and it honestly works very, very well. So I think Google did a phenomenal job with this router. I cannot speak to the longevity of this, so I can't speak to the reliability of this. Uh, this could be as reliable or more reliable than this, uh, but because I've only had a few, few days, only because it did come out very recently, um, but I mean, it's been fine for those few days. But just something to keep in mind that I have had this for longer, and it's been fine. Uh, obviously, this has a new wireless AX standard, and it also costs $40 less than this. So. If you have the Nest Wi-Fi and you're wondering like, hey, should I go to a wireless AX router? Should I get the Eero 6? My answer would be no. It's not worth it because you're not really getting much. Um, they're both very similar in speeds. Um, at least for my internet speeds, they're both very similar. Um, the Nest Wi-Fi has proven itself to be very reliable and the app works great. Very simple to use. Um, 
it's also true for the Euro 6 uh, as well. The Euro app is very easy to use and stuff. But I don't really see an upgrade in this. Um, I don't consider this an upgrade to this. Uh, something that in my definition of an upgrade is it has to be something obvious that uh, even though you are going to wireless AX and you do get a Zigbee Smart Home Hub, um, but because the speed tests are very similar, you know, it's I, it doesn't really matter too much what's on paper. It more matters like how well it performs. And because they did the same speed test, I don't really consider it an upgrade. So is it worth upgrading? No, in my opinion. If you don't have either one of these and you're like, hey, should I go with the Google router or should I go with the Amazon router? Which one should I get? Which one works better? Um, you know, some people might just automatically jump and say, well, the Euro 6, obviously, because A, it costs $40 less. It has a Zigbee Smart Home Hub. It's wireless AX. Um, so it's a little bit more future-proof. And I can't really disagree with that. So I think I would say, yes, those are probably the reasons why I would get the Euro 6. Um, the only thing is, because I've had the Nest Wi-Fi for a while, and I pretty much get the same speeds with these, and they both work very well, and I was using a wireless AX device, so it's not like I was using a wireless AC device and I wasn't you know, using the full capability of this, so... I think, yeah, I think the Euro is the winner, but if you want to go with the Nest Wi-Fi, I won't really see anything wrong with that. Now, if you want a true upgrade, I would go with the Euro Pro 6, because the Euro Pro 6 is definitely better than the Nest Wi-Fi, at least wirelessly. It's, it's, it's definitely better. It's something noticeable. But I am going to compare it to the Orbi, so I haven't done that yet, so I can't speak to which one's better, the Euro Pro 6 or the Orbi. But yeah, uh, like and subscribe. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos coming out as well. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my current subscribers.